स्टार्टिंग इन फाइव सेकेंड्स सर आई राइज टू स्पोर्ट द प्राइवेट मेंबर्स बिल ऑन सेटिंग अप ऑफ रीजनल रूरल बैंक इन द कंट्री द रीजनल रूरल बैंक टू अ वेरी लार्ज एक्सटेंट हैव बीन अ काइंड ऑफ लाइफ लाइन ऑफ क्रेडिट टू द रूरल पीपल वी हैव सीन डैट द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स हैज नॉट बीन वेरी गुड द कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स हैव बीन प्लेग्ड बाय देयर ऑन प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ मिसमैनेजमेंट एंड सो ऑन ऑन द अदर हैंड द शेड्यूल्ड कमर्शियल बैंक्स हैव बीन फाउंड वॉन्टिंग एज फार एज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द लोकल रियालिटीज इज कंसर्न इन बोथ दीज केसेज दे हैव बीन फार बिलो वट द रीजनल रूरल बैंक हैव एक्चुअली बीन एबल टू गिव टू दिस कंट्री अनदर इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट द रीजनल रूरल बैंक हैज बीन डैट दे हैव गॉट द लोकल स्टाफ दे नाव हैव ऑलमोस्ट टू डी केड्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ वर्किंग इन द रूरल इकोनॉमी दे आर वेल अवेयर ऑफ द नीड्स ऑफ द पीपल इन द रूरल एरियाज द लिंकेज ऑफ द रूरल पीपल टू रीजनल रूरल बैंक इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग देयर फोर वट वी फाइंड इज डैट देर इज अ काइंड ऑफ कल्चरल कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड स्ट्रेंथ इन दीज बैंक सर द रीजनल रूरल बैंक हैव बीन सफरिंग बिकॉज ऑफ नॉन प्रूडेंट बैंकिंग पॉलिसीज एंड प्रैक्टिस डैट दे हैव बीन फॉलोइंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम हाउ एवर देर हैज बीन सम चेंज इन देयर आउटलुक इन रिसेंट ईयर्स नाउ द रीजनल रूरल बैंक डू नॉट कम अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ लॉस मेकिंग एंटरप्राइजेस दे हैव नाउ बिकम द प्रॉफिट मेकिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन देर आर रीजन इन द कंट्री डेट आर सम ऑफ द most backward and the poorest regions of the country there are also areas where concentration of business potential is not there so much as in other areas the health and strength of these banks have also reflected the rural reality of the respective states and the regions the regional rural banks are strong because of the local character they reflect local realities this character tends to get weakened if we amalgamate them with other commercial banks there is no problem of having supervisory institutions that can help these banks to move to more profitable and efficient banks if we pool the strength of many of these banks it will be a far more effective medium if we look at the international practices that are being followed especially in the united states we find that one of the strengths of the banking infrastructure in the united states is the focus on tremendous regional aspects of course they have very highly and well regulated atmosphere in the sense that banks by and large conform to prudent practices i personally feel that the system of regional rural banks would probably be the most effective system to cater to the financial needs of rural india the financial needs of rural india are today diversifying there is a much more diversified economy today in rural india where agriculture is no longer the mainstay even non farm activities or non agriculture activities are becoming equal crucial today the types of financial services that are required in rural areas are going beyond mere credit and savings insurance is an extremely critical need 
of rural entrepreneurs and rural artisans and so on in the coming century there is also much greater rural urban linkages that are coming up there is tremendous rural strength in the kind of economic opportunities that are opening up sericulture for example is succeeding and succeeding only in areas that have got the condition for it similar is the case with power loom and similar is the case with host of other activities that are emerging in rural areas therefore if the banks are more local friendly they will able to contribute to the economy in rural areas in a greater way in terms of management structures the regional rural banks are gradually moving towards becoming sustainable financial institutions but there is a very little role that each stakeholder is playing in running of these banks in terms of the legal status i think it is a very important that these banks becoming banking companies under the banking regulations act in this regard the reserve bank of india has to play the role of a regulator i also feel that the role of rrbs can be critical as the agents of the insurance companies this is something that has been tried in certain parts of india and it has been found fairly effective these are some of the suggestions that i have given i would assume that some of these would require regulatory changes and some of them would require some kind of a commitment from the government of india with this i support large parts of what has been said by the mover of the bill this would go a long way stop